So in this problem, we are given a circuit with four branches. And so till time t naught, which is specified in the question, this, this key is open, which means this branch is basically deactivated. So we just have to focus on the top three branches. Okay. So first of all, we need to find uh, the current I1 and the resistance R. All right. And it's given that the current in the branch two is one ampere. So I assume the current in branch one is I and it splits as one ampere here. So by using KCL or Kirchhoff's current law, I could say the current in this branch is I minus one. I it's splitted as one ampere and I minus one ampere. All right. So now if I assume the potentials at these nodes as zero volt, I could say uh, there is an increase of, okay, so what is the potential difference across this one ohm resistor? It is going to be IR, right? That is one ampere times one ohm. That would be one volt. So if we assume this to be zero volt, it would be five volt here. And it will be an increase of one volt which means at this node, it would be six volt, which means it is six here and here as well. Okay, so now we can easily find I1 using Ohm's law and that would be delta V by R, right? So six minus zero divided by three, which means I1 comes out to be two amperes and that is option B, which is correct. Now I1 is also I minus one according to our uh, assumed currents, right? So I, we get it as three amperes which means the current in this branch is three amperes. <clears throat> now we can use Ohm's law here as well, right? I, we can also write it as 15 minus six, which is the potential difference across this resistor divided by the resistance of the resistor. Solving this, we get the value of R as three Ohm, which is option A. Okay, so now after this point of time, uh, we're assuming this is T greater than T naught, by the way. Now the key is closed, which means uh, now even this branch is in picture. The branch four. So what I am doing in this step is simplifying this circuit. So we can actually um, simplify this the top three branches as one battery and one resistor using the parallel cell formula for equivalent circuits. So and this is the formula for that E equivalent divided by R equivalent is equal to E1 upon R1 plus E2 upon R2 plus E3 upon R3. Now R equivalent, we can calculate it, right? So this R, one ohm and three are in parallel. So we just calculate the value of R as three ohm. So using this formula, we get the value of R equivalent as three by five ohms. Substituting it here uh, for the values of E1, E2, E3, R1, R2, R3, we'll get the value of E equivalent as six volt. <coughs> so now the top three branches just reduces to this one battery and one resistor. And now we have to calculate the value of, okay, so in this circuit, uh, let's just begin with calculating the R equivalent. Now this is just a charge, uh, an RC circuit that is being charged, right? So we can find the R equivalent, that would be three by five plus three ohm, as these two resistors are in series. And that would come out to be 18 by five ohms. Now we can find the time constant of this circuit, right? Time constant is simply RC for a, an RC circuit. And if you calculate it, it comes out to be 7.2 microseconds. Now the question uh, for option C, they have given, what is the current in the capacitor just after 7.2 microseconds after the key is closed? Which means they're asking, what is the current after tau seconds, basically? All right, so now you need to know these two formulas. So this is the formula for charge as a function of time for a charge charging RC circuit. And if you differentiate it, you'll get current as a function of time. Now, okay, so for, okay, so let's just do this first. So when time tends to infinity, so after a very, very long time, um, this current I, this capacitor would be fully charged and the current I would become zero in the circuit, would tend to zero in the circuit, which means the potential drop across these two resistors, right? that would become zero, close to zero, right? 
which means uh, this whole, whole of this six volt potential drop would be across this capacitor so which now which means now you can easily find the charge across capacitor it would be the capacitance times the voltage that is 2 times 6 that will be 12 microcool and that is our option d which is also correct <coughs> okay so now we know uh, now using the formula of current as a function of time we know we need to find the current after tau seconds so substituting for that the answer becomes i naught times e power minus 1 now what is i naught i naught is the current um, that flows through the circuit just after the key is closed so just after the key being closed, the charge on the capacitor, right, Q0, that would, that would be zero, just after it being closed, which means we can just forget about this capacitor as if it doesn't even exist. So now we can easily find out current I0, right? We can just do Ohm's law, six divided by R equivalent. R equivalent is three by five plus three. And I0 comes out to be five by three. So five by three times e to the power negative one. Now, e to the power negative 1, they have given the value as 0.36. And solving, you'll get the answer as 0.6. So hence, all the options are correct.